expanded offshore drilling for oil along America's shorelines won't help with the current energy crisis. The first oil out of any new offshore drilling wouldn't be available until many years from now, and even at the peak of new production, the price of gasoline would only be decreased by a few pennies per gallon. Offshore drilling isn't just economically ineffective, however, it's also ecologically dangerous. Big oil companies like to tell people that offshore drilling is safe and clean, but the truth is that it remains a dirty business that pollutes our oceans. In the 1990s alone, in the waters off the coast of the United States, there were 224 oil spills from offshore oil platforms and pipelines, resulting in 1.8 million gallons of oil spilled into American waters. Even if that oil wasn't spilled, there would be a huge amount of new pollution in our uh, ocean waters. That's because offshore drilling brings up toxic muds containing things like mercury, cadmium, lead, arsenic, benzene, and even radioactive minerals. Our oceans are already overfished and stressed out by climate change. Populations of animals Americans like to consume as seafood are crashing. Expanded offshore drilling could eliminate these species entirely. The pollutants brought up by offshore drilling have been found to interfere with the ability of fish and other animals to successfully breed, and they're also very dangerous to humans. So even if there wasn't a single oil spill, expanded offshore drilling would mean devastated marine environments along the coasts of the United States. Up here on land, we'd have less seafood to eat, and that would be more dangerous and more expensive at the same time. The take-home lesson? There is no benefit for expanded offshore drilling, and the risks are substantial. The only people who will benefit are sitting in offices of the big oil companies and on Capitol Hill receiving checks from those companies.